In this match in progress as what a wild one this was. This was for all the marbles. This was for the uh, SICW Tag Team titles. And I'm talking about the Top Guns. This was their last chance. They had to get the LA Hustlers in a position. This was a no disqualification match. As you know who follow us, uh, the fans that have, know that the LA Hustlers and their manager, unlucky P. Larson, as I like to call him, Esquire, he always has done something to cheat, get themselves disqualified. And the last time these two teams met, it was the Top Guns that let their emotions get the best of them, and they got disqualified. So we decided the best way to do it is have a no disqualification match, and the best team walks out of the Belle Claire Fairgrounds with those tag titles. And this was a war. This was a battle from the beginning. Up and down they took. There you see the LA Hustlers, one of the best tag teams in the business. They're out there working back and forth. And now look, they're even trying to mimic the move that the Top Guns do, but it didn't work. It didn't work. That's the finishing move that the Top Guns have won so many matches with, not only here in SICW, but at New Breed Wrestling. They've been in Memphis. Everywhere they go, they are making a name for themselves. The Top Guns fans, write that down. When you see the Top Guns or when you see the LA Hustlers on a marquee, you're going to get your money's worth. Back and forth, these two teams are going. Bill Henson, the referee, had his hands full with this one. And like you said, look at Lucky P, they're arguing with the fans. A capacity crowd, SICW, working back and forth. Joe Vernetti, getting the worst of it right now, as he's whipped off the rope. Oh, misses with a clothesline. Oh, but he catches him, he's got him in a sleeper now. Something you don't see a lot of anymore, but that just goes to show you the tools that the L.A. Hustlers have in their toolbox. He's working with him. He's got that sleeper clamped in. He's wearing him down. Wearing him down. This was a whole made famous by Pat O'Connor many, many years ago at Wrestling with the Chase. But there you see Joe Vanetti broke it up with that chin breaker. Dropped down and his head coming up underneath the chin and causing the hole to be broke, but now Vernetti needs to get a tag made. Needs to get the fresh man in there. Brandon Beretta is ready. He reaches over, makes the tag, and here comes the fresh man in the ring, and now Brandon working on both of them. A reverse elbow, big right. Now puts his shoulder into the midsection, driving it in there, knocking the wind out of him. Oh, big uppercut. Ooh, Finetti comes in. Hustler gets out of the way. Now they're working on Brandon in that corner. All at the direction of Lucky P. Larson on the outside. Picks him up. and oh, There it is. This could be it. He covers him kind of one, two. But wait a minute. Vernetti manages to get in there and kick out of it. Oh, how close that was. And if... The Top Guns were going to lose this match. They had to start all over again. That was the stipulation that Lucky P. Larson made. Yep, we'll do a no disqualification match, but when you lose, you go to the bottom of the ladder, and the Top Guns agreed to it. So we booked it. No disqualification, and all four of these men are in there battling back and forth. Now, Vernetti... Knocks the one hustler outside. Now the action fills, flows over. But there you see Lucky P. Larson up on the ring apron. Remember, this is a no disqualification match. And there, <laughs> Lucky P. <laughs> holding up the briefcase. And that backfired on him. That is teaching not to stick your nose in where it does not belong. And there you see Brandon Beretta. One half of the Top Gun standing in the ring. Joe Renetti outside. Uh-oh, he's saying, come on, wait a minute. What is going on now? Oh, Kowalski tried to intervene. And, and now you've seen the silverback, Big Joe Helms, coming and stopping him out of the camera's view. But I can tell you, it was a war between those two monsters. As Joe 
Helms come to the aid in keeping Kowalski from interfering. Those two battle back to the locker room. Big body slam. Brandon positioning the L.A. Hustler in the ring. And now here's that finishing move as Joe Vernetti gets thrown off on top of him. And this could be it. Count of one, two, three. And that's how the Top Guns become the new SICW Tag Team Champions.